Hey guys, Tim Pokemon here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my followers slash subscribers' favorite Pokemon. Yeah, so I went ahead and ran some polls on my story. Now, if you want to, you know, go ahead and join these polls, you can go follow me on Instagram at TM Pokemon. Link will be in the description. But I'm going to talk about first day starter, final evolution starter, and then legendary and pseudo legendary Pokemon. Which one are my followers and subscribers favorite Pokemon? So let's go ahead and start with the starters. Now, fire starters were overwhelmingly the favorite of my star of my followers. They had seven and 706 total votes in um, the first stage starter polls. And the most voted was Charmander and Score Bunny, surprisingly enough, at 111 total votes. Then in second place was the Water Starters with 605 votes. Now this one was a little bit of a mishap for me. It wasn't Mudkip who got the most votes. It was actually Froakie who also had 111 votes. And then third place was the Grass Starters with 527 total votes. Uh, most voted was Rowlet though. Then um, I broke it down here region by region. I'll probably put that on the other side while I was just talking. The least voted starter though, Poplio, 31 votes. Uh, pretty bad showing for Poplio, won't lie, but hey, it is what it is, it happens. Then uh, the knockout rounds happened. Charmander faced Chimchar and absolutely blew Chimchar out of the water, 141 votes to 33. Second place, Score Bunny actually faced up against Mudkip, and Mudkip blew Score Bunny out of the water with 125 votes compared to 52. Then Froakie took on Totodile in a surprising upset. I thought Froakie would definitely go through. Totodile won 101 votes to 76. Then we got uh, Rowlet against Fue Coco, brand new starter Fue Coco. Actually got into the top five, but lost to Rowlet 104 to 67. Then we go on to the final four and Charmander just 68 to 20, absolutely blew out Rowlet. And in a very close matchup, Mudkip won 46 to 44 to Totodile, very, very close. And then in the final, Charmander won 47 to 16, not even close. Um, Let's be honest, a little bit of Gen 1 bias probably, but hey, it's okay. Second place was Mudkip and third place was Totodile. So pretty good showing from the water starters there. Then we go on to the final evolutions and first place again is the fire starters. 370 total votes with Charizard getting the most at 85 votes. Of course, Charizard had to be. Um, and then second place was the water starters with 358 total votes. And the most voted was Greninja. And quick keyword, Greninja. And uh, Greninja actually had the most votes in total in round one with 94 votes. Good amount of votes right there. And in third place was the grass starters with 235 total votes. Most voted being Rillaboom. Then we go on to the top eight, made it on to the knockout rounds, and Greninja faced uh, Swampert, sorry, in eighth place, and Greninja won 54 to 26, pretty convincingly. And then Charizard faced Cinderace and won very convincingly, 68 votes to 13. And then Incineroar faced Infernape, and it was a close, close matchup, but Incineroar came away with the win with 42 votes to 40, very close. And then uh, fourth against fifth was Typhlosion against Samurott and 50 votes for Typhlosion, 36 for Samurott. Typhlosion makes it on to the final four. And now if you guys want a quick explanation, they are knockout rounds, right? So, uh, you know, whoever gets more votes moves on to the next round and it's top eight or sometimes top four. You'll see that later. Or with legendaries, it's, it was actually top 16 because there's so many legendary Pokemon. But let's go ahead and talk about the final four. The final four was pretty convincingly from both Greninja and and Charizard first place against fourth Typhlosion, uh, Greninja against Typhlosion, 73 votes to 35, and then Charizard against Incineroar, 84 votes to 27. Again, pretty convincing. And then the final happened, and Charizard won. Who would have guessed it? 56 votes to 38 in the final. Second place Greninja, third place Typhlosion. Um, pretty good. I mean, overall, I, I, I feel like we all knew Greninja and Charizard were going to be in the top three. It was that third place that was the question mark, in my opinion. Then we go on to the legendaries. Yes, we went and we went and tried to find our uh, my followers' favorite legendary Pokemon. Now the top 16 made it into the uh, knockout rounds, and then it would go down to eight, four, and then the finals. So Rayquaza had Cobalion as a matchup, and it was 109 votes to eight. And um, sorry, real quick, actually, there was a thing that I'm going to put up on screen, but it just shows um, the most 
uh, voted by region and by type. Um, but it's going to be hard to find through here. So I'm going to put that up on screen. But it was a, a thing that I had as well. But then we got Mewtwo against Landorus. 112 votes to 6. That's a blowout and a half. Lugia, 105 votes to 14 against Regigigas. So the top three all just absolutely blew their opponents out of the water by like almost 100 votes each. Then we had Giratina against Entei. A pretty close matchup. 65 votes to 52. And then 5th place against 12th place. And 12th place takes a W. Diana. 64 votes to 54 against Zekrom. Then we had Sogaleo against Wyveltal, which was a close matchup because Sogaleo had 59 votes compared to the 58 by Wyveltal. Then we had Latios against Xerneas. Surprisingly, Latios won 64 votes to 53. And then Zacian against Hoho, and Hoho took the W, 72 votes to 47. Now let's go on to the uh, round of eight, which means that there's eight left. And let's go ahead and talk about it. Rayquaza, 87 votes to 27. Absolutely blowing Ho-Ho out of the water. Mewtwo against Latios, 92 votes to 22. Again, another blowout. And it just shows Latios, I mean, Latios, Mewtwo and Rayquaza are like the fa by far favorite legendaries by a lot of people because they blew some people out of the water. And then we got Lugia to Solgaleo, 84 votes to 27. And then a close matchup between Giratina and Dialga. 59 votes to 51. Giratina moves on. Then we got the top four. We got uh, Rayquaza against Giratina, and it was 100 votes to 18. Rayquaza absolutely blows Giratina out of the water. And then Mewtwo against Lugia, 84 votes to 35. And then we had the final. Except that the final ended in a tie. A tie, guys. And quick keyword, tie, because uh, why not? But yeah, the final actually ended in a tie. It was 80 to 80, exactly. It was actually kind of crazy. Uh, like, what are the chances that Lugia did end up in third place because it got the most votes out of between it and Garatina? But uh, yeah, insane. It was a tie, and, 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 and rightfully so. I feel like Rayquaza and Mewtwo are two arguably the best legendaries. Some people have them one, some people have them two. Everybody loves Mewtwo, everybody loves Rayquaza. But let's go on to the quickly the pseudo legendaries. Yes, so the way I did this one, there's only nine pseudo legendaries. So what I did was I actually um, only put top four onto the next round. And first place was Dragonite, second Metagross, third Dragapult, and fourth Garchomp. And it was very close between third, fourth, and fifth because you can see third got 56 votes with Dragapult, 55 votes for fourth, which was Garchomp, and 54 votes for Gudra. It was very close. Tyranitar didn't make the top four, unfortunately, and neither did Salamence, Hydreigon, or um, uh, Komo. -Oh. But we go on to the round of four, where Dragonite handed uh, Garchomp a loss with 80 votes to 46, and Metagross 89 votes to 34. Quick keyword, Metagross. But uh, yeah, we go into the final, it was Dragonite against Metagross, and it was 88 votes to 35, an absolute destruction for Dragonite. But yeah, comment down below, what is your guys' favorite Pokemon? Legendary, starter, and all that. But it shows, my starters, fa my starters followers and subscribers' favorite Pokemon are Charmander, of course, Charizard, then with the legendaries, it was Mewtwo and Rayquaza with the tie, and then it was also um, with the pseudo-legendaries, Dragonite, and it seems like a lot of Gen 1 bias, doesn't it? But, uh, coming up actually now, it's gonna be, it's actually active now on my story, is the mythical poll on my um, Instagram. So if you go on and wanna go get um, involved with this stuff, go ahead and check out my Instagram, TM Pokemon. The link will be in the description. Make sure you guys go check that out. And thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.